the legend tool can be used for, well, just about almost anything. From what you'd normally expect as a legend, that is a graphical representation of some of your symbols, to a set of notes that you place on drawings. So for this exercise, and from your startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 17 folder, and open the file Chapter 17, Legends. Legends, like any other views, can be found in the project browser. You can see that there are already some predefined in this project. For this exercise, I want to create a new one. Click on your View tab, click on Legends, and create a legend. At this point, we need to give it a name. Let's call this Graphical Damper Schedule. And we'll maintain the scale at 1 to 50. Click on OK. At this point, Revit has created a brand new view. Here you can see it in the project browser. This view has no boundaries. You can see from the view control bar that we cannot crop its boundary. Wherever we place something is where the drawing will be, which sometimes sounds a bit kind of hard, especially when you're coming from a more regimented CAD program where you're actually dealing with coordinates. In legend views and drafting views, you're quite simply not. But to help you, you can show what is called the work plane. From the Systems tab, click on Show Work Plane. This gives you a sort of grid to which you can work to. If I select it, we can change the spacing of the grid, just so that it helps us lay our legend out. It's non-printing. So, to develop our damper schedule, we need to go to the Annotate tab, and from Component, select Legend Component. From the Options bar, we can select the type of damper that we want to select. These have all been loaded into the project and are currently in use. Now this doesn't very much look like a circular volume control damper. This view still behaves in a very similar manner to the rest of the plans, sections and elevations. We have a level of detail, so I'm going to change this to medium. If I place that again, you can see that we have the same type of representation that we would do in a regular plan. Let's delete the first one. I'd also like to see a sectional representation of my damper. So I'm going to copy it, say 600 millimeters. And with this one selected, I'm going to change its view to left. Let's just move it down so that it's in line with the top view. I can now place some descriptive text alongside. Click back on the Annotate tab. Click on text. I'm going to use 2.5 millimeter text and place the start point for my text. Let's give it some descriptive text. Volume control damper. Round and zoom out. So what do I need to do for the rest? Well, I could go and place them all exactly the same way as I've done already. But as I've said many times before, I'm a little bit work shy. So I'm going to select them and use the Array tool. Let's array these through 500. And we'll make six copies. Now I've just realized that the spacing isn't quite good enough. So let's select the first array group and move it. And I'll move it 150. That's now respaced them all, and I'm happy with that. First thing I'll do here is select them all and ungroup them. Now I can select each group in turn. Notice how it still picks up the name of the family, but not the view type. And we'll change this one to rectangular. All I need to do now is change the text. And so on. Select the two and change them for a round smoke damper. Change the text. You'll notice that some of these symbols may start moving around a little bit. That's because they're not defined quite in the same way as regular symbols. So all I need to do with these is drag them back into the right location. 
Let's continue on. Select the next two. Change their type. Fire damper rectangular. And change the text. Fire damper. Rectangular. And drag to position. Let's carry on with the final two. Here's an opposed blade damper. Rectangular. And a balancing damper. We can drag these into the correct position as before. And then go back to the Annotate tab, select Text. We'll select the 5mm text and give our legend a title, Damper Schedule. With that complete, we can click back on the Systems tab, turn off the Show Work Plane, and we're ready to place this on a sheet. If we found that our text string is too long, we can select the text so that it becomes two lines.